Alex Forte here, the Art of Simple Golf. We're going to learn something from Seve Ballesteros today around the greens. I'm not expecting you to be a magician, but we can make this little adjustment to give us more confidence and better contact from lob shots around the, you know, when you're on the golf course. Let's get to it. So Seve was quite good and he practiced from about that height all the way through. He was known as a, a wedge wizard, a magician. Now he obviously had a, a wide variety of different golf shots, but I was watching him the other day and I noticed just how low he has his hands at address. And I was like, why is he doing that? Is that to stay on top of it as he swings through? Is that to, to make sure that he kind of gets the confidence uh, to attack? It's partly those reasons but and you know and, and the feel but one thing it does is it stops him having a glancing blow because a lot of times we'll open up the club face okay we'll open up the club face and because the um the the, the now the face is aiming right we sort of adjust a little bit and have to aim a little bit left and causes us to do this glancing blow sort of cutting across it which doesn't give us the consistent contact that we really desire it sort of skims across the face sometimes out the toe yeah. so what we see here just by using this club to show you if i was to just have the face square that's going to our target if i open up the face to get more loft okay now that's pointing to the right so what do i have to do i aim further left to try and get that to square up. But now I'm standing across the line, having to cut across it to our intended target line. That's gonna give us that glancing blow. However, if I, let's start from the scratch. If I open up the face, okay, to get the extra loft that I want, I'm aiming right now, the club face is aiming right. But if I just lower the hands, that's gonna be pointing towards my target. And that's what happens. Okay, so now you understand a little bit more about where the club is aiming, what kind of shot we're gonna hit and what sort of result we're gonna get. If we open up the club face and don't aim too far left, the ball is just going to kind of go to the right. And it was with a glancing blow. So to get it going on target, I have to aim further left and cut across it. Or we can try Seve's method, which is, uh, let's just give myself a half, not great, but half okay lie. I do the same thing, okay? But now I'm going to lower my hands, squaring up that club face a little bit, making sure that I stay on top of it, I feel soft in the hands, and I accelerate through. And what that's gonna do, I call that a little bit strong, but what that's gonna do is give you the, the much better solid contact on the shots that you hit with the direction that you want. It's so easy um, to, to get that confidence when you get a solid strike each time. So just try it. You can try it out of bunkers, you can try it out of lob shots, just any sort of finesse shot around the green. Just lower those hands instead of having to cut across it, open up the club face. It's gonna give you a better, more solid contact. So learn from Seve, give it a try. I'm really confident that this is gonna help you on the golf course without confusing you too much. Give it a try, let me know how you get on. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. <music>